How's it going, y'all? My name is Aiden Anderson, and this is the Moscow Minutes. The date of this recording is October 18th, 2023, and in this video, I'll be bringing you the highlights from both the Moscow City Council meeting and the Leyta County Commissioner meetings from the week of October 15th, 2023. Let's get into it. The Moscow City Council had a longer meeting this week, beginning with an annual report from the Parks and Rec Commission. David Schott of City Staff and Catherine Harner, the Commission's Vice Chair, went through the past year and activities for Parks and Rec, including establishing a pesticide-free park, mountain bike trail proposals, 1912 Center room naming proposals, and participation in the Bee City USA program. Next up, Tyler Palmer presented an update on the ongoing efforts to find an alternative water supply for the city by the Palouse Basin Aquifer Committee, or PBAC. He began with a reminder about the importance of the Palouse Basin Aquifer, and an update on the present situation based on declining aquifer levels and efforts undertaken in the name of water conservation in the past few years. As research progresses, PBAC has identified five possible alternative plans that could be used to help supply the region with water while giving the aquifer time to recharge, along with pros and cons to each of these alternatives based on cost feasibility, practicality, and legal challenges such as tribal water right claims. Going forward, PBAC is looking to focus on the plan that involves pumping water from the Snake River, as it seems that that plan has the greatest degree of benefits, with the least risks as regards conservation and susceptibility to climate change. That being said, none of these options are off the table as of yet, and PBAC will continue to provide updates as they make progress with their plans. Following that, Bill Belknap, the city supervisor, introduced a proposed procurement and purchasing policy for the city of Moscow, as the city has not previously had one. Such a policy is intended to enforce consistent standards across city departments and provide clarity regarding city purchasing decisions. Bill proceeded to outline the details of the policy, including procedures for budgeted and unbudgeted purchases, contracts, and credit card usage. The policy was recommended for approval by the Public Works and Finance Committee earlier this month and was thus unanimously approved by the Moscow City Council. Last for this meeting, a request to approve the purchase of a ladder truck fire engine. The ladder truck that the city currently has is nearing the end of its serviceable life, and based on an agreement established in 2021, the University of Idaho is willing to pay half the cost of the replacement. The quote the city currently has for a replacement ladder truck is just over $1.5 million, with the truck to be delivered between 44 and 49 months after it has been ordered. The city will be able to request grant funding to aid in their purchase, and they have accumulated the city's portion of the purchase price within their city fleet fund. Thus, the purchase was approved unanimously by the Moscow City Council. The council then went into reports where each councillor gives an update as to what they've been up to recently before adjourning for the evening. The county commissioners began their week with a couple of executive sessions for personnel and indigent meetings. They then approved a series of action items, including a construction agreement for the event center roof to be started this coming spring, an indemnity bond for the Loomis Company, rural development funds for the Helmer Sewer and Water District, and a volunteer camp host agreement for the Spring Valley Reservoir. The commissioners concluded this set of meetings with an executive session for attorney-client communication and personnel discussions. And that concludes this week's set of local government meetings. As always, we'll have the relevant links posted with this video, and if you have any questions, let us know. This is Aiden Anderson with the Moscow Minutes. See you next time.